Good morning, YouTube. It's kind of a dreary day, but I am here working on my CRF 300L. We are going to build a rack. It goes on here that I can, when I get to the campsite, I can remove the whole rack. Easy. Uh, I talked about it on my last video because I got to Wayne. I had to unpack everything. And, uh, I, you know, by the time I unpacked everything, I was tired. I didn't want to ride. And then the next morning, I didn't want to pack everything up. It was just, this would be easier. I untake, the, I take the whole thing off, take the whole thing off, set it aside, ride. Come back, I put it back on. Two bolts, two thumb screws or something. That's what we are going to do is make a rack, removable rack for the CR F300L. My garage is a mess. I've got. All my stuff in here because I'm building another barn. I'm building my other garage. Let me turn around here and show you my other garage. I'm building my other garage out there. That's going to be my garage. I got to get a floor poured in it right now. So that's what I'm waiting on. Then I start moving things out there. But until I get the floor poured, there's where we're at. Okay. I don't know if you can see everything, but I got, this was, this pieces were from an old garage door, and that's what we're going to start with. So, we're going to start with pieces from our old garage door opener. So, I know you can see me, but I don't think you can see my workbench here. So that's the problem with working from the back side of the camera. Oh, uh, I'll make some pieces here to go on the back. I'm gonna be using quarter inch steel, some pieces, and we'll be using some angle iron, some half inch thin wall tubing, and a piece of aluminum. Stuff I've collected over a few years and bought and but that's what I'm gonna be using I'm not gonna really spend much money to do this hopefully but here we go all right I've already cut cut a notch in here so that I can that'll go over one of them so I gotta make two of these so I'll make two of them and uh, then I gotta make two other ones little different so I'll make two of these and I'll get back with you okay one more way I got two cut out I got to notch that one out but let me get my bike in here so that I can I can work on it in here all right I got two of them exactly the same these are gonna go on I don't know if you can see my bike from there but I'm going to go right there. Now I got to make two more. Two more a little different. But I got to make two more. And I don't know. I don't know if that would be big enough. Let me just check this That 
might work. Might work. Yeah. Let me cut this off here. Using my Harbor Freight bandsaw there. Made a little stand for it. Whoa. Kind of liking that. We'll make one more of these. We'll make one more of them. Okay. Fits, that one don't fit. Bam, fits. All right, so them two pieces fit. Right there, two pieces. That's, uh, I think that's one inch by quarter inch. Yeah, that's one inch by quarter inch. But, like I said, it came from a garage door opener. So there's them pieces. Let me look for a piece of angle iron. Okay, I found this piece of... Looks like three-quarter. Yeah, three-quarter by eight. Uh, angle iron. Kind of lightweight. I'm going to uh, use it to kind of make a piece go on there. And then that's what I'm going to attach my tubing to. Should work out pretty good. So far, so good. So let me uh, clean up and do a little welding on this. I'm going to tack this right on there. This is all tacked up here. Alright, let me get my welder going here. Check the square. So good. Okay, now I take this one back there. See how that come off there? One. Might have to take that front one back off again. I don't know. We're working on it though. Let me see what I got here. Let me tack that up. I'll weigh this when I'm all said and done. Probably cut this off, shorten it up. That's one side. I got to make another side just like that. And that's going to go on here, right there, right there. Oh, 
like it. All right. I got two of these tacked up. I'm going to, uh, I got to dig out a piece of aluminum I bought years ago for a skid plate for a razor that I made. Uh, so I got to dig that out. And, but I'm going to, I'm going to temporary these together so they're one piece. Then I'll take that back off when I, the piece of aluminum across the top is going to be my top. It's going to be lighter than steel and it's going to do the job I need it to do. So let me dig that out. It's back here in this pile of somewhere. So let me find it. Okay. Well, here's my temporary together. You can see it. Oh, look. Okay. So that's my base. base. Alright, so that goes on the bike. Just like that. Just like that. So that goes on there. I gotta make two, two little clips here to hold that. I'll come up with something there. But then I'm gonna make build some pipe racks, come down, hold my panniards, I guess. So on both sides. But then you pull up on that, it comes right off. So basically that's my mount. So far, so good. So I want it tight, but that that's pretty tight. I wonder if it'll fit on a rally. Let's see. Son-in-law's got a 250 rally. Let me see. Nope. 250 rally is a little bit different. But right now I'm kind of liking this. Alright. Now time to dig out the aluminum. Alright, I got my sheet of aluminum that I've saved forever I cut like I said I cut a skid plate out of it it's a quarter inch thick that's going to be my top it's going to be my top so I gotta I'm going to lay out a pattern with some cardboard first and uh cut out a pattern and then we'll put that on the aluminum and cut that out. Well we're welding up some more pieces. I'm about to get stick these back brackets on here so they're permanent. Okay, I kinda like the way that looks. That all cool down a little bit. finished on the frame I got some more welding to do I gotta make my tubing so it fits I'm gonna get that locked down though. Alright. 
So I'm thinking about that as my. I think I'm going to modify this a little bit more. This is going to be my uh, my uh, rack on the back. It'll be one piece of aluminum. And it's going to be bolted. Folded to that. I still got to, I don't like this yet. I'm going to modify this a little bit more. Got this Diablo metal cutting blade. I'm going to try to cut this aluminum with it real quick. I don't know how that's going to go, but we're going to give it a whirl. Got it. Wow. That's a beaut. That thing throws stuff everywhere. Right there will eventually be my skid plate, or my uh, rack. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little more layout and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do here to cut this. All right, I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. I'm tired. I think it's looking pretty good. Comes right off of there. I gotta build some side things for it, but let me let me show you a little closer. Okay. So then go right over the front. And them oh, sit right on the back. Now I'm gonna have to get a a latching system for the back. But I'll have that figured out. But I think I'm done for today, so We'll get back with you tomorrow or the next day. Thanks for watching.